Hi, I'd like to show you how to make a use case diagram. So first thing I'm going to do is log into Lucidchart and then click New and select Blank Document. This is going to give me a blank workspace after just a couple of moments. First thing I want to do to set up is I want to get the right shape palette available over on the left hand side. So I'm going to shrink up those ones that I'm not using and click plus shapes and I'm going to type in a UML and in the UML area uh, one of the options is the use case diagram. So I'm going to say use selected shapes. Okay, so now I have the symbols available for creating a use case diagram. Now I need some case uh, or some system to model uh, in which I can use these symbols. All right, so the, the system that I'm going to model today is a food truck website. Let's imagine that uh, I have a food truck and it's called Paradise Donuts and it serves Polynesian themed donuts. And some of these donuts include the pineapple upside down donut and the lava lava raspberry filled donut. And uh, customers want to use my website that doesn't exist yet uh, to do different things like browse the donut varieties, view the donut truck location, and submit catering requests because as a company I would also do that. I do private arrangements. Uh, now because the truck's going to be in different places every day, the employees of the food truck would need to be able to go onto the website and update the location of the food truck so people could find it. All right, so with that, um, this system, I'm going to call it the food truck website. So I'm going to create a container here and call it food truck website. All right, now in terms of the users of my website, I'm going to put two actors here. One of them, I'll call these this one a customer, and another one I'll call an employee. All right, now there are a few things that I want customers to be able to do on my site. So these are goals of users on my site. So my site needs to be able to allow a customer to browse donut varieties. I also want it to view truck location, that to be a feature. Um, I also want to be able to submit a catering request. And then uh, related to what the employee does, they need to be able to update truck location and I use uh, shift enter in order to go drop on the new lines and not have it all be on one line alright we're almost done I'm gonna hover over a uh, particular actor and right where their hand is I'm gonna wait for that red circle to show up dark red circle and I'm gonna drag that over to a use case that means that that actor is able to perform that goal or that function in the application. I'm gonna, just, just because of the way the diagramming works in this particular software, I'm gonna click on the user again, hover over their hand once again to get that red circle, and then drag once again to the other thing they can do, and I'm gonna repeat that process. All right, so, what we're able to see here, see here is that the customer can now do those three things because they are connected to it. Uh, I now need to allow the employee to do this particular use case. So I'm going to hover over that, draw a connecting line, and I'm done. If I didn't like that kind of line, I could also go up here and change the line option and make it a little bit more straight, and that would be fine as well. But this concludes uh, creating a use case diagram in Lucidchart. And what we have here are a list of the main functions that can be performed in a particular application. And so this type of diagram could be used for a regular app, for some type of internal business software, a desktop application. You can create a diagram like this to indicate who can do what in a particular piece of software.